Ah, finally. All three of you together. Good afternoon, Lady Voss. How are you this afternoon? Confused. Our first destination was Algiers. We arrived at breakfast time and were on our way before lunch. We arrive at Oran and barely have time to take on water, and now we're off again. Would someone care to explain all this hustle bustle? I apologize, good lady. It is my nerves that is forcing this rapid movement. Catch me up. What's going on? You're right. Algiers was first on our list. We went there to see Zinnia's teacher, Carmen Crimson. You were trained by Carmen Crimson? I was. How do you... I'm sorry, I interrupted the story. Please continue. Right, so we showed up, but Carmen was gone. But she left us a note. Which said... We don't know. It was encoded. Only Zinnia could read it. It sent us here, which led us to the next clue, and no closer to Carmen or an explanation of why she is on the run. I know this is frustrating for you, but it is much more so for me. I'm starting to understand. Has she ever... Oh, wait. Yes, I hear it too. This might be a good time to present those weathered swords of yours. I think we're about to have guests. Four. Aft. And I'm just going to hang out with you in the middle here, if that's all right. Oh, I'm happy for the company. Xenia, Saffron, what would have happened if I chose to come in through one of the side windows? A passing train was covering starboard. And I had port. We had the angles covered. So you did. Well done. Hello, Carmen. You know, you could have just come in. You did not need to make such a dramatic entrance. I like to know what's behind any door before I open it. Everything okay? I thought I saw... Oh, hello. I didn't know we picked anyone up. We didn't. She's a stowaway, but a welcome one. And one who needs a hug. No, I don't hug. Wow, you're quick. Allow me to introduce you to... Lady Ruin Boss. You still alive? Heaven's afraid of me, and hell is worried I'll take over. You're shorter than I remember. And you're uglier. Not all scars are sexy. Nice to see you, Carmen. You've taken up with my students. Do they know about how you... No. I understand. You, I don't know. Oh, yes, hello. I'm Bella Brooks. I'm the conductor. So you're consorting with criminals now, Xenia? No judgments, just getting the lay of the land. Which one is she talking about? I was hoping you'd know. I just came to say we're on schedule for Marrakesh. Why are you going there? In your last message, you said... That you should disregard that message, as I'm afraid the code might have been cracked. It's right here at the bottom of the page. Coded upside down and backwards in invisible ink. Yes, clear as day. Change your course. We are heading for the Straits of Gibraltar. Why? We're hunting a wolf. Ox and Hare presents, in association with True Story FM, the Swashbuckling Ladies Debate Society. Today's adventure, straddle the line in discord and rhyme. What kind of a wolf? Care to elaborate? No. I'll be sleeping in the training car. You just need to... I know where it is. I've been on board for a day and a half. I'm surprised you didn't notice. I'll see you all at dawn. Well, she's... She's... Yes, she is. I'm gonna go check the maps for the next switchover. I'll leave you to... You, you know. All aboard. I have to, I'm just gonna go. How do you know Carmen Crimson? People know people, Goldie. Of course, she wasn't Carmen Crimson then. Lead this to say, I won't be there at dawn. Ciao, ladies. So is this what it was like, being her student? Yes. <laughs> I wondered if I had over-dramatized my memories. I had not. 
We're about to get a lot of training, aren't we? In patience, if nothing else. Let us rest while we can. Class begins tomorrow morning. <clears throat> when, when she said dawn, she didn't mean like dawn dawn, did she? Thank you for your prompt attendance. Please gather in a line so I can see what I'm working with. Of course, but could you start off slow? I haven't been sleeping that. Ow, what the hell? Never yawn around an opponent. It forces your eyes closed and gives them an advantage. Did you slap me? No, of course not. Oh, good. I hit you with a riding crop. Still, ow. Be glad it wasn't a blade. Let's take a look at you all. Xenia, you've lost some weight. Thank you, I have. Saffron, you found it. Hey. It wasn't an insult. You wear it well. Plus, it allows you to take up more space in the world, which you've earned. Goldie. Oh boy, here we go. You look perfect. Oh, wow. Thanks. But you're carrying yourself differently. There's a weariness, a sadness to you now. You've been through something. I have. I can't believe you saw that. I recently... I don't care. But you should. Use it. The fire of pain can fuel your spirit as long as you don't let it send you. I can do that. Or not do that. And what is that sword you're using? That wasn't what you had last time we met. I took it off one of the Emperor's soldiers, but I modified it. What happened to your sword? Well, I gave mine to Saffron. And what happened to yours? Gave mine to Xenia. Xenia? It broke. Louder, please. I broke my sword. The one you gave me. I never gave you a sword. Yes, you did when we were training. I let you borrow one of my blades during your education. And when you left, you took it with you. Now you've broken it. It broke. I didn't break it. When a student graduates, the teacher bestows on them a blade specifically for them. You never gave me the chance. You simply disappeared in the night. It was clear that I was never going to be good enough for you. For you were going to be hounding me for... Enough. We are not here to look into the past, as we have trouble in the present. You said we were chasing a wolf. What did you mean? They call him the Ard Wolf. Goldie, read this. Lieutenant Asher Abocador, a.k.a. the Ardwolf. He's French Foreign Legion. He's French? No. Français par le sang versé. What does that mean? French by spilled blood. He gained citizenship by combat. He's South African by birth, but tries his best to hide it. His squad will enter a town, find their museum, occupy it for military use, and when they leave, they've taken everything of value for themselves. Pretty sneaky. And they pulled this scam in Algiers? They did. I've been chasing them across Northern Africa. They have valuable artifacts that need to be returned to the people. And you need our help to find them? No, I can do that myself. But I will assist you in furthering your education while also completing my mission. You're welcome. Merde. No foul language on the training floor. Yes, teacher. These soldiers do not attack with strength, but with craftiness. You will not be facing them in a straight fight. Please remove your swords and gear. Are we sure about this? If it's good enough for Zinnia. Now... We shall have a three-way. Wait, we what? Uh, I believe Carmen means we will be having a three-person duel. That is correct. Why? What other meaning did you assume? Nothing. Just a colloquialism. I've had two women at once, but never three. So I must be open to anything. Why is she laughing? She has um, clogged sinuses in the morning. I see. I found a few good flicks in the morning can do a world of good. <laughs> That's it. I'm going down on you first. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you just... <laughs> ow, ow! Don't whip me so hard. <laughs> if I had a nickel. <laughs> you are next. I 
said to meet here before dusk. You're late. Um, there's a sliver of sun right there, so not late. Why so grumpy? We've had us up at dawn every day and kept us training well past sundown. We're tired. My arms. My legs. My everything else. Evil doesn't care about your aches and pains and won't obey your schedules. Of course. You're right, teacher. What have you learned? The Artfuls and his men are taking refuge in the Irish Tower. Wait, we're in Tangier. How is there an Irish Tower? It was built by the Irish soldiers who came here when King Charles II was in charge. And you just know that? I read about it, knowing we were heading this way. When? After training. After? An exhausted body, and she still chooses to exorcise her mind. You are truly a wonder, my love. After? Enough! They're allowing potential buyers to view the artifacts before they have the auction and sell them off. We have to strike now, or they'll be scattered to the four winds. Of course, teacher. We will be ready. Are you sure? I don't feel very ready. Come on, Goldie. We can do this. Fine. But after, we're going to a fancy restaurant and I'm working my way through the menu alphabetically. From apple crumble to zucchini surprise, you have a deal. Let's go. Ugh, this is gonna suck. Monsignor, so glad you could make it. I'm told that cricket ball was the one that shattered the wicket. Should be worth a tidy sum to a sports fan such as yourself. Five more minutes of browsing, my friends, and then the bidding will start. Well, well, well. Hello, ladies. I'm afraid the after party is after the party, but you can head back now if you're so anxious to get started. No, no, we are here for the auction. What? Come on. Guten Tag, ich bin Frau. (laughs) No, no, no. Not buying it. Excuse me? Ugh, should have known better than to try and con a con man. Time for a new tactic. (laughs) Now that I have your attention, scumbags and slime balls, these are all stolen artifacts. We're with the International Criminal Police Organization, and anyone still here in five seconds will be arrested as an accessory. (laughs) Five, four, three, two, one. Run, creeps! The international what? I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. Sounds like something that should exist though, right? Very official. You just cost me a lot of money. And now we're going to cause you a lot of pain. We'll see about that. Boys, see the ladies out and into some shallow graves. (laughs) That's a lot of boys. Are we sure we can do this? They are standing between me and chocolate. They don't stand a chance. Stealing from a museum? That's pretty low, even by criminal standards. Don't you know you're depriving the public of... Hey, watch it! He's favoring his left leg. Likely an old wound on the right knee. So if I just... So falls the Colossus. Thank you, Carmen. What the fuck? This one lacks situational awareness. I expect he hasn't even seen the pillow. Merci. <laughs> His jaw is... Yeah, I see it. You planning on actually getting into the fight? Wait, you don't even have a sword! I came in with the three strongest weapons I know of. On your right! Trying to blindside me? How dare you! Ladies, your prey has slipped the net. (laughs) Not on my watch. Liberté, égalité, on me! Not so fast. We're going to play a little game. On the floor, you'll see a series of letters. Random? Not at all. Hidden within are the books of the Bible, but they must be touched in order. Egalité? Uh, I always get mixed up in the middle. Hold on. Joshua, Judges, Ruth. Get them right, and you'll catch me. Get them wrong, and I'm afraid the building comes down. Think carefully and... Oh, screw this. <laughs> Liberté, I have the bull. Got it. <laughs> Somebody go pick him up. I'm too tired. Oh, hey, Carmen. When faced with a death trap... Oh, heavens. You shattered the display case, grabbed a rubber ball, which is also a rare artifact, lobbed it to your partner, who threw it with frightening accuracy, breaking the nose of the villain, causing him to stumble into the wall and knock himself conscious. Uh, yeah, 
that's pretty much what we did. That was cool. It was. I mean, it was, right? <laughs> now, where are we going for dinner? The local constabulary have taken the Ardwolf and his pack into custody. They say they'll make sure everything is safely returned. Aside from the thing that Carmen stole. Goldie. What? Was I the only one who noticed it? She's correct. But first, Goldie, may I borrow your sword? Uh, sure, here you go. Thank you. Hey! You threw it in the sea! Saffron, give Goldie her sword back. All right, here you go. Thanks. Now, Xenia, give Saffron her sword back. Of course, I appreciate the loan. You are welcome. Leaving me defenseless. Another lesson, teacher? No, something long overdue. I don't have a lineage, no name to bestow. I don't have money, no legacy to pass along. I have my skills and my honor. And this. This is called a flysa, an Argenian sword I discovered that was on loan to the museum. It belongs to me. And now, Xenia, it belongs to you. I don't know what to say. Say thank you, Carmen Crimson. Or you could hug me. Just this once. I accept. I had always intended this for you upon your graduation from our time together. One which perhaps I let go on for too long. Because I didn't want you to go. Did you just admit? I admitted nothing. I don't know what you might have imagined. A slip of the ear. The superstition of the blade says that when the warrior is ready, their sword will appear. I hope this will serve you until it does. Does that mean we're done being your students? Never. But you've earned a respite. Perhaps we could spend some time developing other skills while your train takes me back home. You are welcome to stay with us on our trip. I have seen enough of the world. I have found my corner and I wish to return to it. I understand, but the offer stands. But I have some bad news for you, Carmen. What is that? While you were talking, you've gotten surrounded. Oh, no! It's a hug circle. Get her, girls! Practically outmaneuvered. How did I fall into this trap? Fine! Fine! That's enough! Worth it! You three can be quite crafty. We've learned from the best. But just so you know, in a three-way, I prefer men on both sides of me. Their swords in ready position. Did you just... Did she just... You were messing with us the whole time? I have no idea what you're talking about. Season 4, Episode 2, Straddle the Line in Discord and Rhyme, was written, directed, and edited by Kyle Olson. Our producer and sound designer is that daydream believer, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Enjoying a pleasant Valley Sunday is our talent wrangler, Brooke Unverfirth. Starring Amy Shaw as Zinnia, Anastasia Plum as Saffron, Kara Gallo as Goldie, Shelley Trujillo as Bella, Puneet Bajwa as Carmen Crimson, and Chrissy Lentz as Lady Voss. Our theme song is written and performed by Headley Knights, and our interstitial music is Intended Force by Kevin McLeod. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at oxandhair so you won't miss the next thrilling adventure. The Swashbuckling Ladies Debate Society is a Ox and Hair media production. Old format, new ideas. Thank you.